Good afternoon, everyone. I have another free groom that I am doing. It is a, unfortunately, a severe neglect case. They said um, that they have not had this dog groomed since before the pandemic started, and I truly do believe them. This is one of the worst cases I've seen so far. Not the worst, but one of the worst, and here is what this poor girl looks like. I'm gonna be going straight to a 10 because this is pretty bad. It's like another turtle shell dog. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it up here. I mean, that, it's just crazy. No, I cannot cut through this with my scissors. It will ruin them. Um, this is not super heavy. It's not painful to sit on the dog like that. Had some concern in past videos. Thankfully, it's not super tight to the skin. This girl came in at noon, and unfortunately, I had a really busy day today. I had, have eight dogs, and it is almost four o'clock. I have got to leave here by 5.30, so I'm gonna try and get her done safely, but quickly. I don't want to leave her in this condition. She's very sweet, very sweet girl. I will give her a lot of love and attention after I am done. We don't want to do it during grooming. It can become dangerous if they start being too excited. Look at that. It's an another severely matted tail. I can feel the end. It's right here. So at one point, this was a really long tail, and then it became matted. Work on that in a minute. There really is absolutely no excuse for this. If you can't afford grooming, either reach out to your local groomers, buy some clippers, or get some scissors, or use a brush. You're okay, it's okay. There you go, good girl, good girl. And trust me, it's okay. I'm just helping you, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Turn this 
way. Surprisingly, I have not seen any fleas. Nope, this way. This way. Move back this way. My motto here is humanity over vanity. I will never demat a dog. It is painful. It can cause bruising. Okay. One thing I want to talk about is this. This is what we call the loop. We keep it tight on the dog so that, you know, they can't step off. Um, it keeps them safe on the table, keeps them contained in the middle of the table so they're not falling off. If a dog, you know, this size and smaller falls off of a table that is this high, and you guys really can't tell how high this is, but it's above my waist, um, they would most likely suffer traumatic, a traumatic brain injury or worse. And so using a loop is not a bad thing. Come here, we gotta turn this way, girlfriend. I switched the blade after I checked out that client. So we don't wanna be working with a hot blade. Can cause clipper burn. Definitely don't wanna cause any more trauma. Okay, so now, work on this. Okay, so that is what came off of that dog. It's, it's crazy. Okay, sweet girl. I just don't understand why people let their dogs get like this. Our ear gently pulling on this, that's the only way to get this matting off. And thankfully it's not super tight. Easy, you're okay girl, I know. You're so anxious. I would be too. Come here. There's the end of the tail. You wanna be really careful when you get to the end of the tail. Okay, so that's it, flipped inside out. 
your fine Batman. He is in there because he has chosen not to be very nice to people today. If you are new here, Batman is my own dog. He has been growling and barking at people. All right, I'm gonna switch blades so we have a nice cool blade when we start on her face. You're okay. Can you even s Hi! Hi, can you see? Yeah, you can see now, can't you? Sweet girl, hang on, hang on. I'm not being mean holding her, that's how we control the head. I don't want to cut her. Good girl. We can actually see what you are. Easy. 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 And there's a flea. She is the last dog of the day, so I will spray all around my table and then spray the cage she was in and the cages around and then take out the trash. Go get that spray real quick. Okay, this is the spray we use. It's Repel 35. It's insect control spray. So what I'll do is I'll just spray all around. I have never, ever, ever had a flea problem in my 13 years of grooming. Just spray everything and around. Hey, you're fine. Spray it on her. And the trash. So if they jump up, they touch it and it kills them. Come here. We're almost done. Good girl. clean out these ears. Do you feel so much better? Come here. It's okay. And you pull in. Let's go back just a little bit, okay? Sweet girl. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, if hearing a dog cry breaks your heart, makes you wanna cry, I suggest that you skip ahead a little bit because I'm gonna clean her ears, pluck this hair out, and she's probably not going to like it. But it is a necessary part of grooming, helps prevent ear infections. Good girl. Good girl. It's all clean in there. We're gonna do this one. The powder I put in there is ear powder. It helps grip that hair. So we're not 
pulling on earwax covered hair and it's slipping out and causing pain to the dog. And then these are hemostats. They're not scissors, they're blunt tip. They're not sharp. They help grip. Okay, now we can get her in the bath. I'm using the bathing system from the other tub. Excuse the messy shop. I'm gonna clean as soon as I'm done or I may have to do it in the morning depending on time. Um, but I have had a really long day. I did two free grooms today. One was at Alaskan Malamute. It was before this one, before this groom. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. So I'm gonna do a regular bath first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know someone's gonna comment it. Yes, there's a bruise on my arm. I had some blood work done. I told them my other arm was the better arm and they didn't take my word for it and they blew that vein. So that's why it's that color. The guy did not know what he was doing. You're okay. You're okay. Turn, turn that way. Okay. So she's clean. Now we're going to do a flea and tick bath. It's flea and tick shampoo. We're going to let it sit on here for 10 minutes on the coat for 10 minutes. And then I will be back. The brand we use is BioGrow. I find that it's the best. Um, you can use like Adams, but I find it is super expensive. It doesn't work as well. Feel good. Does that feel good? Let's sit on her for 10 minutes. I'm gonna get this eye gunk remover. And gently pull that out. And then I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm gonna stand, stand here with her, but then we're gonna rinse it off after. Okay. I'm gonna rinse her. You're okay. Her spots are very unusual. And yes, dogs can have one coat, one coat color, and then they have markings on their skin. Forgot to do the anal glands.
Okay. I'm gonna dry her with the high velocity dryer if she will let me. And then we'll be back on the table. Okay, I was able to dry her straight through. So now we're just gonna get her finished. You're okay, sweet girl. Stand up. You're okay, bud. If you would be nice and not growl and bark, I would let you out. You're okay. It's okay. Turn this way. You're okay, bud. Baby, you gotta turn, okay? I can't reach you from over there. I know, you're freezing, aren't you? I'm so sorry. No, I gotta turn this way. You're okay. No. You're okay. Easy. Good girl. It's just scissors. It's okay. Stay up for a minute. Okay. You sit. You sit. Sit. No. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. So sweet. Hey, 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 you stop. Good girl. No, no, no. 
I know. It's a weird feeling, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Get this done. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I mean, that's doing too much. You hope you're okay, girlfriend Bailey. See, it's okay. You're okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We gotta stop pulling. Okay. Girlfriend. Bailey. Got two more nails. Good girl, good girl. Now we're nearly done on the last stretch. She would let me get those a little bit shorter, but it's okay. Some is better than none. You're okay. No, I need you to turn.
Okay. Look at you, girlfriend. See if she'll let me use a seven real quick. Even some of this up on her head. No, no, no. Okay. I am going to call it good. Her ears are clean. They don't need to be wiped out. But I'm gonna call it good. I think she looks fantastic. I'm gonna give her some doggy spray and a wonderful floral bandana. And she will be ready to go home. No, I don't wanna send her back home because of the condition she came in, but I legally do not have a right to keep her. I, if you have not seen the video of where I called animal control, I'll link it up here. Animal welfare, I tried to get them to come in and do something and ended up talking to five different agencies and they flat out refused. So, I'll help them when I can. Here's what she looks like. Bailey. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Everything used in this video is down there. We also have a wish list for Rose and I and Rovers. You guys are more than welcome to check it out. We don't expect anyone to purchase anything for us. It was just asked by several um, subscribers that we have one and that's why we have one so thanks guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video